Before I start talking about this, I really should make it clear that it's pure speculation based on a leak. There is no official confirmation, and honestly, it might not even be real, but it's looking like we might actually get a horses pack for The Sims 4. And I gotta be honest, this whole thing is almost kind of funny to me because I really did not imagine a world where we actually got horses in this game. To me, horses just seemed so unlikely that this leak was kind of shocking to see. So we have a lot to unpack here and a lot to talk about. My horse journey started a couple years ago when I made this sort of jokey video about my horse wish list for The Sims. I've made a few videos like this where I kind of go through what I want to see in a pack, but this one was kind of a meme. I talked about jousting in it. Like, I, I don't actually want to have jousting in The Sims 4, obviously. But I made this video because to me, horses seemed like such an impossible addition for a few reasons. Number one, horses are like notoriously difficult to make, not just for The Sims, Sims, but like in general. If you talk to any artist, any animator ever, people in the comments probably will be like, yeah, I know. Horses are really, really hard to draw and to make and stuff, so it's not an easy task to make them for a game like this. I know it was a nightmare for The Sims 3, and so after we got Cats and Dogs and it didn't come with horses, because The Sims 3 just had a pets pack and it came with horses and cats and dogs, and then we also got Cottage Living and that didn't come with horses either, I was kind of like, okay, yeah, the ship has sailed, we're never getting horses in this game and I wasn't really surprised by that. So that's kind of the setup of this meme, right? And then on my Twitch channel, every time there was any sort of pack teaser, pack announcement, we'd all be like, you know what, I bet it's horses. And it was funny because it was like so ridiculous because horses are impossible and this thing obviously is not horses. Like we'd see a kit teaser and be like, you know what, it's probably horses. And that was kind of the joke. So with that setup, I think you can understand why this horse leak was so <laughs> shocking to me because this whole time I really, really, truly believe that horses were impossible in The Sims 4. And that's not to say I didn't want them, because honestly, I loved horses in The Sims 3. I thought it was so fun. Like, I kind of like the idea of having horses in The Sims 4. I think I would enjoy playing with them. I just really didn't think we'd get them. And that's not to say I don't want horses, because I think this whole joke is rooted in some truth. I loved horses in The Sims 3. They were so fun. So I do like the idea of them being in The Sims 4. I just, I just didn't think it would happen. And then things started getting kind of weird a few months ago. This it might seem like kind of a stretch, but there's a horse puzzle in Growing Together. And you might think, well, yeah, there's all kinds of puzzles in that pack, but The Sims was being really weird on TikTok. This person commented, hi Sims, I have a question. Will there ever be horses? Many horse lovers would be happy and buy such an addition. And The Sims replied, I emoji, horse emoji. They have never done anything like this, and this happened months ago. Usually I try to avoid reading too much into little hints like the horse puzzle and stuff, because obviously Oftentimes those little in-game things end up actually not being hints at all. But the puzzle and then these weird TikTok comments all in the same week, to me that seemed a little bit like maybe they were trying to tell us something. So this comment stuff happened back at the end of January and then this week there was a serious leak. So usually when there's leaks of Sims expansion packs, it happens through like various retailers. Oftentimes someone will post it early, either by accident or on purpose. People dig around a lot looking for these leaks and I'm not kidding, almost every single expansion has leaked this way. This time it happened on places like CD Keys and Instant Gaming and G2A, and these are code resellers. I've bought stuff from CD Keys before and I've never had a problem, but it's not technically an authorized retailer, so they're selling these Sims packs without EA's permission, essentially, oftentimes for a discount because they're buying them in bulk. They sell all the Sims packs on these websites, but a couple days ago a listing for a new pack called Horse Ranch popped up. This is Instant Gaming's listing for it, and we're gonna break this down and kind of talk about it because there's a few weird things happening here. First of all, and probably most importantly, this is not a real picture. This is actually a Sims 3 picture and they've tried to make a fake listing photo that looks like The Sims 4, but this guy and this horse are Sims 3 Sims and they've edited this together to look like a real Sims 4 cover photo. That's because they don't have real graphics yet, so somehow, some way, they got a hold of some information, but they don't have actual images to be using yet. Same thing, this description isn't a real description. This is actually just a Sims 4 base game description description, so they don't have any real info on the pack, they're just using the base game default stuff. Interestingly, this one has a release date, it says July 19th, 2023. I have a couple concerns about that. First of all, this same listing is on a few websites, but the other ones don't all have release dates. Second, that's a Wednesday, and they never release packs on Wednesdays. Historically, expansion packs have almost always been on Fridays, and Growing Together came out on a Thursday a couple months ago. And that's the other problem, Growing Together came out a couple months ago. 
We got growing together on March 16th, so this pack coming out in July feels really, really fast to me. They had previously told us we were going to get two expansion packs this year, but when I heard that, I thought we would get like an early one and then maybe a holiday release towards the end of the year. So I'm really surprised by this leak because it feels super early to me. I was more expecting this kind of news in like September, October, November time, definitely not in June. So this 19th of July release date almost doesn't feel real to me because it's so soon. That's like a month away. I don't want to say it's impossible because who knows, but I just find that kind of strange. So here's kind of where I'm landing on this. I think there probably is a horse pack. These leaks have happened often enough and been right often enough that I'm pretty sure this one probably is too. I'm just not so sure about that July release date. It's hard because leaks usually do happen around that close to release, but I also just can't imagine it coming out so soon. So who knows about that? But also I'm not sure if the name is real either. In the past, we've had expansions leak with the wrong name before. I think it happens with translations sometimes, where like maybe the leak happens in a different language and the literal English translation is a little bit different. For example, when Eco Lifestyle leaked, it was called Eco Living. So I wouldn't be surprised if Horse Ranch was maybe slightly different when it actually comes out, but it could be right. It's just a leak, so we really don't know. I'm kind of just putting all my thoughts out there. I always feel kind of unsure when it comes to talking about leaks like this, because on one hand, it's really exciting and I want to talk about the news and stuff, but on the other, I don't want to contribute to like a mess if it ends up being fake. I've really been scarred by the Eco Lifestyle situation. I don't know how many of you were around when this happened, but Eco Lifestyle had a messy announcement. This all happened like two days before the official trailer dropped. So they had teased the trailer and announced that there was going to be an announcement, but they hadn't actually announced the pack yet. And then somebody made a fake leak. They were like, oh, I work at Target and I can see in the back end of the system that it's going to be a farming pack. And they posted it online and it completely spread. Everybody was convinced it was farming. Everyone was so excited about farming. And then the Eco Lifestyle actual trailer dropped. Obviously it wasn't farming and people were furious. They hated the trailer. But when I saw it, I kind of liked it. I was excited about it. I still like Eco Lifestyle a lot. It's definitely up there on my list of expansion packs. And so I made a video about the trailer being like, look at how cool this is. And I got so much hate from people because everybody was so upset about the farming fake thing. And it was really bizarre because the tides kind of changed when the pack actually came out. I think that in general, people tend to like Eco Lifestyle, but the initial announcement was a mess because there was the weird fake leak. So that's why I always get kind of nervous talking about expansion leaks in particular, because what if that happens again? What if we have like a farming 2.0 and this horse thing isn't real? I might be exaggerating how bad this whole thing was in my head because I was kind of in a bad place at the time, but to me that was a disaster. So it makes me just kind of anxious thinking about it happening now. But I do think that this horse leak being on multiple websites is a little bit more credible than just some random brand new Twitter account saying they work at Target. So it seems like we're actually getting horses, which is really interesting. Kind of going back to how impossible I thought that was, I really haven't spent much time thinking about what I would want out of a horses pack. I will say that I've seen a lot of people online being like, how is this gonna be an expansion pack? I thought about that a lot recently, and I feel like the Sims 4 packs are kind of smaller in scope compared to older Sims games that we keep comparing them to. I'm gonna use the Supernatural thing as an example because in the Sims 3 we got one Supernatural pack, and that had vampires and werewolves and fairies and zombies and all this stuff in one pack, which I think sounds really good, but in reality they weren't that detailed. And then you compare it to the Sims 4 where werewolves and vampires and spellcasters all have their own game packs, and because of that the werewolves in the Sims 4 4 are so, so much better than the Sims 3 ones. I mean, you actually can't even compare them. Between the cast and like the skill trees and all these different gameplay features, Sims 4 werewolves are objectively like 10 times better. So while on one hand it's kind of annoying to be like separating these things and charging extra for them, they're also doing them a lot deeper and a lot better, which I think is a good thing. So I'm kind of using the occult situation as a frame of reference for horses, where like we got horses in in a bigger pack that had cats and dogs in The Sims 3, but in The Sims 4, we already have cats and dogs, so now an entire horse dedicated pack, I assume, would be deeper? Like, the horses would be a lot more detailed and cooler than they were in The Sims 3. I just don't really know enough about horses to know, like, what that would mean for us. Like, what exactly is deeper horse gameplay? I'm not sure. I assume there's gonna be competitions and stuff, you could probably do, like, jumps and things and build like horse 
courses. What do you call that? It's like an obstacle course for horses. I don't know. We had that in The Sims 3. I bet the cast is gonna be really cool because you could probably paint your own horses and stuff. I mean, the horse girls are gonna be thriving with this pack. I wasn't really ever a horse girl before, but who knows? Maybe I could become one. By the way, and I'm serious about this, there better be a horse sim trait in this pack. We've got cat lover and dog lover and stuff. Give me horse sim. When I was talking about this on stream yesterday, a bunch of people in chat were saying how they think the pack would be more worthwhile if it came with other animals, which is interesting because we already have cats and dogs. We got like the cows and chickens and llamas. What other animals do you think they could add? I'm thinking like goats, maybe pigs, sheep, I, like something like that. Would that make it more worthwhile to you? But that poses the question, what's the gameplay like if it's a farming pack 2.0? But it wouldn't be farming, would it? It would, I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard to even begin to think about this without having seen it because we're basically this entire thing off of one name. <laughs> we have two words, horse ranch. It's hard to be like, oh, I'm gonna hate this pack or oh, I'm gonna love this pack when all you've seen is horse ranch. So I'm really curious to hear more about it. Obviously, as soon as we get any further information, I'll let you know. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And I am so curious to hear your thoughts in the comments about this because I feel like judging off my Twitch chat, there's been two very strong opinions. There's either a I hate horses thing or a I love horses thing. I feel like I'm I'm kind of in the middle though, so I, I don't know. What do you think? I really cannot believe that this day has finally come. After all the time that I spent joking about this, I cannot believe it might actually be happening. So we will see. But I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay caught up with Sims news and stuff like this. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. You know what? Follow me on Twitch too, because we've been talking about horses all week since this leak. But I'm also gonna start playing with Sims 3 horses again, I think. So my name's just Lil Simsy on Twitch. Follow me.